Hey YouTube, it is Easy Purple 101. Today we're continuing with the What If series and we're going to show you some, some different ways you might be able to kind of cook around your house if you're in a natural disaster or if you're maybe stranded and you can't get anywhere. Some things that you have around your house or maybe some things you might want to think about maybe buying or purchasing. The first thing we have here is just a normal grill. I like the side by side. This side is uh, propane which is great to have i love it and then also the great thing i love about having the propane is having the side burner here because um because of having that in there if you have to heat your water up like almost we had to do a few years ago for when we had the algae bloom that we had here in uh, northwest ohio uh this was great even though we could use our stove uh, but this was also another way that you could also use it with having the propane and then you know normal grill three burner you cook your food on it uh, we use this we use our grill you know 365 days a year i mean you know we were cooking in january and february uh this winter 2021 it wasn't that bad we had some days in 30s but threw some steaks on there or hamburgers or hot dogs it's great to have but the one thing i really like about this grill is having this bad boy right here which is um i just got done doing i gotta do another clean we just did um ribs on there use this for smoking but also you can use it to um use charcoal or fire or anything and if you and if all you do to raise it is you use this right here and it will raise the grate up so as you can see it's raising up or you can raise it down so you can put charcoal in there or you could put um firewood in there if you had to if you run out of charcoal and you're kind of in a crap i need to cook i need to eat you can always grab twigs and stuff open it up throw that in there you also have you can open this up to uh throw the the kindling in there or your fire sticks or however you want to do that in there so this is just one version of a way to have uh, a grill is maybe think about instead of just buying just a single one maybe get a double one um, we use the the charcoal side probably about three to four times a year mostly for um, you know if we're doing a pork butt or ribs or brisket or you know before you know pandemic we'd have a party so we'd have both sides you know doing maybe corn on one side and hamburger on the other but the one thing we do have a, a lot of is um, I have three propane tanks that are the five pounders that are always full ready to go once it's empty within the day or two i take it uh to get it uh filled and then i'm always good because propane tanks are good because besides using it for your grill to cook it can also use for other like um the, a heater system like the mr buddy heater that i have or some other uh smaller propane that if you don't have a big grill you could use that for the smaller ones now we're going to take you to those all right, it's kind of starting to rain outside, so I had to kind of move it into my garage to, to continue to film for you guys. But this is the Coleman Party Grill, and this is uh, propane. As you can see, we have a small little uh, one pounder on there, but it, you can use the adapter to hook up from the propane and then just screw that where the, the nozzle is for the one pounder, and it will still work as normal. So you can definitely use this inside. Uh, this is great for tailgating. Um, you know, heck, you could, if you have a fireplace and if you're in a crap hits the fan, you could put this in your fireplace to cook. Um, you could boil water on it. You can do many different things with it. And that's what's great to have one of these. Um, the price tag on one of these is could be anywhere depending on when you find it. Like right now, we're in spring. So right now, these are full price. But if you wait till like mid to late summer, and they have a lot of these they'll start putting these on sale um knock on wood i've never had to use this but i have fired it up let it run for about 20 minutes just to get all the the coating and stuff on there off they always you know recommend you to do that same thing when you buy a brand new grill you want to let it run for like a half hour just to get all the the chemicals and the spray on there because you just don't want to go right to cooking so i did that but really this is so easy to use you just pretty much turn the knob and you're good to go and should be able to hear that. Hear that. And then we, you know, that it's cranked up all the way. But then you can kind of just turn the knob to get a nice little burn, control burn, and you know you're getting really good heat. So if you were in living in an apartment for say, let's say you can't buy a big grill, 
talk with your apartment complex if you're allowed to have something small like this to where you can cook uh, if you have a balcony, uh, sometimes, you know, apartments don't have balconies, but if you do have a balcony, uh, make sure you have a really good sturdy table and you can get these one pounders, you know, fairly cheap at certain places. So always kind of keep your eye out, but these are great to cook, you know, if you're living in a small apartment, because, you know, things do happen to where if you live in a big city and you can't leave and you're at least stuck, if you at least have a couple of these around and you have your food and your water and you have to stay in, you're able to leave or bug out. This is good to go and it's compactable. You can un, uh, take these legs apart and put it in a bag and take it with you if you had to go on foot. But uh, this is a fantastic little grill to have. I definitely recommend, um, if you live in an apartment complex, get one of these as long as the apartment will allow you to have it. Um, also too, if you live in a house and you kind of want to have a backup plan in case your grill maybe stops working and you at least need to get something quick, you can always take this. All right, guys, this next one that I have is this is the Coleman Party Pail. This one is literally for charcoal, and if you really had to, you could put wood in there to get a fire going to cook your food on there. I have yet have to use this. I haven't even um, fired it up to even uh, break it down, which I probably should. Um, might do that maybe in a few weeks, maybe do like a live Instagram feed of just kind of doing like a small little cook. This is a great little thing because it has the handle. So if you're cooking your hamburgers or hot dogs, or whatever you have, soup or boiling some water, it has this nice handle. You can be able to pick this up. Um, depending on the coals, how hot it is, you might maybe need to put a towel, have a glove. I'm not too worried about that. Um, very simple has this where you can put your charcoals or your firewood, empty it out, and then that kind of keeps it from the bottom from maybe burning the ground or starting on fire. Um, I know in the, the the other Coleman Grill that I just did, I talked about how, you know, talking with your apartment manager, if it's okay, this would be one of those things where I probably wouldn't recommend doing unless you were on like on the ground floor of the apartment complex or where you were on like concrete. But just because of the coals, if some drops, I, you know, wouldn't want you to accidentally burn someone's apartment complex down. So what I would just strictly do is use this just if you're on like the ground floor, but if not, try to borrow buy the party grill, which would be a lot more better. So, but this is one of those things. It's a good thing to have for charcoal wood to cook anything. And if you really had to boil water as well. All right, you see, we have our fireplace here. That is one thing, you know, it's like a big thing for me and my wife. We were looking for our house was to have a fireplace because uh, in Ohio, the winters can get pretty nasty to where you can't maybe leave your house for a few days, especially if we we have a thing in Ohio, you know, especially in uh, Northwest Ohio, like snow levels. So like, you know, level three, like they don't want you driving and they can actually arrest you, fine you and even put you in jail. So having a fireplace like this is great because i have a grate in there to where if i have to cook in here and we lost total electricity i could easily put you know the party stove in here just i can take out the the little fire log holder in there or if i want to i would take that out and put and just cook right in there or i could put the pail in there and cook and having the vent because this up right here uh, will open the flue so having a fireplace is definitely a good thing if you're thinking about uh, purchasing a house, you know, having a fireplace and having it not be gas because, I mean, granted, gas is always going to be there, but, you know, if a what if scenario, that's what it's about is just trying to have multiple options. All right. This is my parents' old Coleman 426E camping stove. My parents bought this in the mid 80s when we were when I was young and we would, my dad would use this all the time when we would go camping over the weekend and this is how we would do some types of cooking uh, especially boiling water for at the campsite to do dishes and stuff um, and the great thing is is my dad's kept this in really good shape and when I got this from my dad we weren't sure about the weather that you might have to worry about and it's pretty simple to check you just get some pliers and you just pull the 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 little wire there out and you'll pull it out and you'll see if the rubber is still there or not some have leather but this had leather so i think my dad replaced it right before uh, we kind of stopped camping um for the fuel it's stuff that you can get at kroger or you can you might be able to get at kroger's but like 
Walmart, uh, Meyer, Bass Pro, Cabela's, any camping store that sells campers or Coleman stoves, stuff like this, you're going to be able to use. And the great thing about the fuel is, is besides your grill, you can also use it for lanterns and stuff. So a lot of multiple functions and it's good for all seasons. So, so to prime it, I'm just going to turn this open and you're just going to do this for about maybe a close to a minute to where it gets nice and uh, get all the pressure in there. And then when you're done, you just turn this you turn, open that up once you have everything plugged in. And then when you're ready to go, you just open this to where it says open. And as you can kind of see, and you hear it, you can see the flames. Now the cool thing about these is on the sides where I have the trays, there's a little valve you turn. You get your side burners. And then you can adjust it on how much And there you go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little uh, cooking and a cast iron for you and kind of wrap this video up for you guys. All right, we've got the cast iron heated up here. And now we're going to put our burgers on. Definitely no pan's nice and hot. Now, hopefully you guys in, are enjoying this series. Um, hopefully you kind of like some of the options that I'm giving you of different types of styles of what, how you can cook stuff, everything have you seen from the grill to the charcoal to, uh, you know, propane, the smaller one, and even getting a stove like this. Um, actually my sister-in-law was at a, uh, outdoor garage sale or a big yard sale or an antique mall that they have down in the lower part of Ohio. And they had one, something similar to this for like 55 bucks and it came with two of these which I was like, not that bad of a deal. So I don't know if she got it, but definitely keep your eyes out for this. The only thing you maybe have to replace would be, like I said here, the rubber gasket, or you might have to replace some mechanisms if you need it. But all in all, hopefully you guys enjoy how uh, the series is turning out with cooking. If you guys have any questions or concerns, or maybe you guys want some demos on some of the other stuff, um, write those down in the comment section below. You know, I'll be glad to help you out with that. Um, also, if you have anything maybe that you would think I've missed, um, I know the one thing that I did not talk about is for like the backpacks, the smaller uh, little tripods, like the small little squares, you just put some little fuels in there to cook. Uh, this is more for just staying at home, just giving people uh, an option. Uh, like I said, have any other questions, write down below what you guys uh, think or what you maybe uh, you, you would add. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you guys down the road.